welcome to my channel. Um, today I am making a loaded envelope and I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers punch board to make the envelope. Um, this is a short and sweet video just because um, there's not really much to it. I'm just making the envelope, embellishing it, and... Um, and then I'm going to fill it with a few goodies. Uh, this is using entirely uh, my wild hair kit this month. Um, I requested a kind of Valentine's themed kit, although this paper is blue, but there is actually a cut apart, as you can see on the other side. But I never do this, but I decided to just use the regular pattern paper side. So I usually always use the, the cut aparts, but not this time. Um, I used up a lot of my 12 by 12 paper to make a, um, a like a 3D project, which you'll, you might be seeing soon. Um, so that is why I didn't really have much paper to choose from because I used it up on this other project. Um, and then I didn't want to use this paper because I love these cut aparts. And I wanted to use that on the front of my envelope. So I'm not exactly sure which size this is. Maybe like, I think it's like A6 or A4. Or I don't really know. But um, you can really do any size envelope for this, of course. And then you just embellish the front. It's really, really simple. Um, a really fun way to give your pen pals some cute mail and... Um, yeah, to kind of display the gifts and the goodies in a fun way. So I'm cutting two of these out and I'm using my scissor, scissors to distress the edges. And I'm going to layer them. And then I'm going to get my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to um, adhere it together. I like that little texture that gives. That's a little bit different. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, yes. So I have this lovely sticker sheet from Paige Evans that also came in my kit. So I'm going to use that to do a few more layers and use some foam, of course. So the nice thing about load loaded envelopes is that you can make it pretty simple. Um, it doesn't have to be something super extravagant. It's something where if you are on a budget, um, it doesn't take up too much supplies if that's kind of something that um, you're concerned about or just want to um, save as much as possible, then the loaded envelope is the way to go. Um, and then you just fill it with the goodies that you're going to put inside, which you will see soon. Uh, but to this point, uh, sheet was really great to decorate with and I love how it doesn't necessarily scream Valentine's Day um, It does say happy Valentine's Day. So I have that going for me, but otherwise it's not like overly pink and purple and red um, So I kind of like that it was it was fun to work with these things. So that's kind of a little bit of a close-up uh, But now I'm going to fill it with some goodies to show you kind of what it would look like and how I would package them. So I just took some scraps from my kit and um, a couple days ago I posted a video of some bag toppers, but these are definitely a little simple, simplified version of those bag toppers. Um, all I'm doing is taking some scrap papers, putting it over top, and then over top of like the original bag topper, I guess, and then putting just a few simple little embellishments and I think with this paper too, it helps make it all look a little bit more Valentine's-y. Um, and it covers up those, um, those uh, cut-aparts that are on the other side of the envelope. So I'm going to take another scrap. As you can see, these papers are, are well-loved, which is great. That's the point. Um, and then I'm going to use this paper for a bag topper for this one. And just trimming it down, really nothing fancy, nothing um, nothing you've never seen before, nothing too difficult. Just staple it on and you're good to go. And I'm going to use a doily from my stash to put over top just for a different color and a different texture. And just put a simple little sticker on. Like I said, nothing fancy. Um, 
going to make sure everything is secured down. I'm running out of this glue, so it's really frustrating, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, put those in and now it definitely looks a little bit more full and I believe I'm also going to grab some, um, some crinkle paper or foozles, whatever you want to call it and put it inside just to kind of make it look more full. And this is just a great way to a little presentation of how to give um, some gifts to some pen pals. So here's the close up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was short and sweet and have a good day. Bye.